This is a bad place. What's up? This is Jody from the Change Over Podcast. Justin and I are in Peru at the 25K is here. We start us moment tomorrow, so we figured we'd take you through our day, show you how we prepare for the event. It's about 9.30, 9.37 now. We just finished eating breakfast. We have some hit schedule at the court. So hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Drop a comment down below if you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff. Just pulled up to the course here while Justin's being lazy at the hotel. It's a little bit cold here, and not crazy cold, but obviously I'm from the Caribbean, so I'm not liking the cold very much. Especially at night, it's freezing at night. And it's also altitude, high altitude here, so the ball kind of flies. For those of you who don't know about altitude, players are just by um, getting their tension in the rackets a little bit higher. Like I went a few pounds higher, maybe I normally string at about 52. I'm stringing at like 55 here, just to give myself more control to try and keep the ball into the course. Um, and also, as you can tell, I'm out of breath by just walking. That also happens in, in high altitude. Uh, get out of breath quicker. Luckily, I just play double, so I don't have to be in unreal cardio shape. But for the single spears like Justin and stuff, they're gonna have to do a little bit more work to be prepared to, to breathe and play those matches. So, so yeah, just getting ready today to start tomorrow. One hour later. Well. Got zero footage from my first practice and that's probably for the best because the level was shockingly low in the practice. <laughs> like here you have to pay ten dollars deposit to get a can of balls and then it's high altitude red clay so it's bad bounces and the ball's flying so then we lose balls and you can't and you lose money. You lose money, yeah. If if you return a can that doesn't have three balls, they don't give you your deposit back. So we lost ten dollars yesterday. And then the person I was hitting with only had two balls today and we lost one pretty quick. And then the second one broke. So then I sent Justin for a can of new balls and this is what he came back with. This is uh, supposed to be a number one. This one actually isn't that bad. It's the best ball we have. This is what we're practicing with. And I find it kind of challenging because it's hard to replicate what you're going to feel in a match because the practice courts are normally very dusty and dry and not well maintained so the balls the the bounces are bad and then we don't get new balls we get like old shitty balls as you can just see um but i need, i just need to be thankful that i have the opportunity to be here and practicing and it's about perspective so yeah hopefully justin got some good stuff lined up for y'all because i did not get anything lined up but hopefully my second practice will go better i, I believe it will um so yeah, over to Justin. Noah Shakta. Welcome. What's up, sir? <laughs> What's your thoughts on the conditions of the courts? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's my second week in altitude. First week here in Peru, but I feel like uh, I'm getting used to it. Uh, last week the ball was flying a lot, but now I feel better. Uh, what did we learn from last week? Earlier. Early prep, yeah, it's important here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know. You just have to get used to the conditions, and I feel like uh, then once you're used to it, you can play kind of normal. Okay, nice. Gonna take out Justin in practice? Yeah.
infamous Amy Zhu. No. What's your channel name? Nothing. What's, what's your channel name? Amy Zhu. We just put it up on the screen. Yeah. No. How are we feeling in the altitude here in Arequipa? You can whisper. <laughs> we do. Amy got more subs than us. Amy got more subs than us. <laughs> well, you're looking good out here on the courts, man. I have some videos you here. You look good. Really? You look good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good luck this week. Thanks, you good. <laughs> So we have whole professional eats. So an elite professional. <laughs> no, no. Can you explain to us your choice of pizza, please? I saw the picture. <laughs> it was pretty fire. You're a simple man. Mm -hmm. Visualized it and manifested it. Yeah. Simple as that. <laughs> We've actually been eating a joke, like the dinner dinner in Peru. Can we talk about the food in Peru? Anyone? Best food in South America by far. By far? By far. Yeah. Not close. What's second place? Ooh. Good question. Nothing even comes close, so I can't even tell you for a second. That's crazy. That's crazy. Ecuador was okay. But Colombia? The six. fruit the fruits. Well, Colombia is good too. The fruits in Colombia is very good. Colombia is pretty good. Uh, the ceviche, they have like a But this is a waste. The man is in Peru and he's eating pizza. A single player. Is it clean? The last one, no, but the other ones, yeah. Are they yeah, it was good. Too low, eh? <laughs> you lucky. <laughs> Sailor. <laughs> it's a sailor. This is what $20 each a night will get you in Arequipa, Peru. We're actually staying on the street right here, downtown. So this usually gets pretty congested at night. Early in the morning, it's pretty loud. And this AC has been a problem. 
So you, I don't know if you can see the little lights flashing, but it's actually a blue light. It's pretty bright at night. Had to get uh, creative and do a little toner grip tape on that. Uh, but a little perk we do have is like a little area we can stretch on. Got some fake grass here. It says electric risk. So I don't know if that's safe, but we stretch it anyway. Uh, yeah, that's how we're living for the next couple of weeks, so that's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the wrap for the day. Just had dinner. Once again, best food in South America, in my opinion. Uh, Jody plays tomorrow. I think you play second after 1.30? Correct, yeah. My second pass is a lot better than my first, so I'm, I'm ready to go tomorrow. Let's Let go. us know if you want some more of this kind of content. And yeah, peace and love. <laughs>